Hello, Mark Crossfield here. In my hands today, we've got the Mizuno MP64s, so my irons that I use at the moment, hitting up against the JPX825. The reason for this video, um, I'm going to show you some real ball data with these two clubs and show you why I might f change to the JPX825 and do a little experiment um, just to maybe kind of prove or disprove a few myths about these two kind of clubs. Let's get stuck in. So guys, the other day I was hitting a few shots and anyone who follows my videos knows that I'm not the longest hitter in the world. 7-iron for me is a push to get to 160. It's 155 to 160 at the push. Now I use the Mizuno MP64, so this iron here, bladed kind of slightly cavity back, but it's an all tense purpose, pretty uh, bladed in its appearance, really nice, looking forward to feel all that kind of stuff off the face and I really enjoy them you know I love them um, who wouldn't want a bit more distance so I think what I'll do is I'll hit a few shots with the 825 and look at things like launch and height feel I'll think about as I'm hitting them dispersion and also uh, dispersion short and long on distance so do you get hot face those kind of things so one ball going longer than the other it should do um, so I thought I'd try some real ball data and show you guys why I'm thinking of my next round I play of using 825. Not the Pro, just the standard 825. This club is stronger lofted than that one. It's longer in its length. It's all the tricks that all the other companies do as well. Um, so will it make a difference in how I hit the ball? Is it just a mental thing? So will I feel better hitting a 7 iron? that goes a bit further, even though I know it's the same specs as my six iron or not. So look, I've hit some real balls for you. I've hit some real shots. So let's take a look at that data and talk a little bit about how I feel about changing or possibly changing to game improvement. Is that what we can call this one? The bigger chunk of head. Let's check the data out. All right, guys, real ball data here with JPX Mizuno 825 irons hitting up against the MP64, so the iron I use at the moment. Now, you've got to remember I use the MP64s from 5 iron down to pitching wedge, so I don't actually use that many irons of them. The 4 iron I go to the chunkier H4, and then I don't carry a 3 iron, I have a rescue. And then in the wedges, I have the specialised wedges. Um, so, for me, if I was to go JPX 825, I would go four iron down a pitching wedge and then keep my specialised wedges. Which I, so I'm not actually changing that many irons, but let's just look at some of the data. So I've hit uh, six shots of each, and what you're going to see is the clubhead speed with the 825 went up by one mile an hour. So all intents and purposes, the clubhead speed is pretty much the same between the two clubs. Um, the efficiency level, so smash factor as you guys might know it, went up 1.32 on average with the 825 to the um, MP64. You've got to remember the loft is stronger on the 825, which as you take the loft off can increase the smash. Um, angle of attack almost the same, club path the same, straight, face to path pretty much the same, one degree difference, uh, not much in that. Um, now if we look at the flight data, to look at how the ball actually went. So there's the big one, 155 average carry of my MP64 7 iron, which is pretty much what I do. I can push it to 160 if I'm trying to hit it hard, but I know 155 is around where it is. Now 164, it's almost 10 yards further. It's what is nine yards further with the same 7 iron in the 825. Now I know that this 825 is the same specs of my 6 iron, but it's that question, isn't it? The fact that I pull a 7-iron and I feel like I'm hitting a 7-iron, even though the facts, so the data and the facts say they're the same club, do, does the fact that I feel better because I'm hitting a lower club make me score any better or hit my irons any better? I know really in my heart of hearts it probably won't, but I want to put it to the test. So next time I play, I'm definitely going to take out the 825s, JPX, and give them a go, look at my ball flights. I mean, if we look at... Launch angle was one degree higher, so it went fraction higher on the launch, not much, but the peak height was four yards higher with 825. So the big question is, will it start ballooning a bit? Will I control it? But I think I will, but we'll test it. It is going higher. I'm not afraid to hit the ball a little higher. As not the longest hit in the world, I don't also hit it very high or particularly high. So maybe a little bit more 
of a land angle that might help me stop some longer irons on the greens, those kind of things. Um, dispersion for the set was almost the same for both of them. Obviously, I'm hitting in an indoor net with these to just get some numbers for you. Um, what's interesting is max distance with the 825 was 169. So I know I could get the 7 iron pushing up to 170 if I step on it with an 825, which I wouldn't get close to with my um, MP64s. And the lowest shot with JPX 825 was 5, uh, 159. So 10 yards difference from the lowest to the furthest. If you look at the MP64, obviously that's subject to strike and angles that I'm applying. Um, the lowest shot with the MP64 was 150 and the furthest shot was 158, so 8 yards difference. So that dispersion for long and short, so you get some fiery ones off the face that everyone talks about with something like 825 compared to a Ford counterpart, it's 2 yards difference in that data there. And I've done this a bit, this is just the data I'm presenting to you, I've done it a bit for myself. And I don't find I get one flying miles further. The distance control with this is as good. You've got to remember, when it comes to hitting the ball on the face, you can see my strikes are quite centred. Um, so I, there's no problem hitting the ball somewhere out the middle of the face uh, for me. So um, I know that I'm going to get similar performance apart from the fact this is longer and crank loft. So look guys, interesting one. Let me know what you think. You know, I've spoken a lot about this in the past and I know it's a trick. I know these are, this isn't really a 7 iron, it's more of a 6. But there's a part of me thinking, well, if I actually pull that 7 iron out, this is really the question, isn't it? If I pull that 7 iron out, will it make me just feel better standing over the ball? I know I hit a 7 iron within a certain dispersion in my head, so I'm tricking myself with the trick. And will it allow me to hit seven irons a bit further and also a bit closer? Obviously, you get the feeling, uh, feeling if kind of Spock landed, he would say that's illogical. You know, it's all to do with the angles. It's not to do with feelings. But then I would argue, well, that's why, because I'm a human being. Do you know what I mean? There's feeling has got to play a part in this. So, test. I will play. We're playing at Prince's next week in the golf day. So I'll put it to a test and I will try and report back to you and let you know how I get on. But for now, I'm going to switch and have a go with JPX 825 and see what it does to my distance, does to my confidence, does to how I feel with my approach shots, and see if it helps me lower my scores. Thanks for watching, guys. Post comments down below. Let me know what you think. Interesting one there. Are you willing to crank loss and make it longer, or you want to stay traditional? I know there's uh, strong op uh, opinions on this. Post comments down below and let me know. Thanks for watching. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video, post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links, all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching.